Now that we've made a new save, can I play scenario? And we're going to do the family fortune one, which is basically they uh, there's three siblings. Their scheme is to take their grandmother's money, but um, the grandmother wants to give inheritance to, to those that prove themselves worthy. So um, yeah, let's uh, click play. And hopefully we're starting now in the save that I've just made. Yeah, we are. Okay. So I think let's move her into, because I don't want to move them into like a save that I'm currently playing and make time go past. So let's have a look. Let's move them into five cobble bottom street. She doesn't have that much fortune. She's only got 60 grand. I swear the thing said she has millions. Oh, enjoy your cup of tea. I'm not too bad, thank you, Cody. You're doing good, Kale? You got the most meetings today? No, that's like Alex. Alex, the last few days at work, has had like back-to-back -back meetings. Um, it's actually wild. Like he literally messaged me earlier. He had a half an hour break to eat some lunch. And other than that, the rest of it is meetings. Oh, did you, Becca? What, um, I'm trying to think. Is season 20 out yet? Because I'm pretty sure I'm all caught up on um, on Grey's. Unless a new se season's come out in the last few months. I don't know. Jax, thank you for that lurk. Two months after Christmas. That's so true. That's so true. Yeah. Because it's the 25th of February that we're getting her. Could be a fortune true, but not really in Sims. <laughs> GG, hello. Good morning. How are you? Not sure how they expect us to get work done if we're in meetings all day. That's literally what Alex said. He said he barely has time for like, you know, admin -y sort of things that he has to do when he's in back-to-back -back meetings. Um, hungry, but not sure what to eat for dinner. Any dinner suggestions? Uh, what did, last night we had, we had pulled pork burgers with salad and smiley face potatoes. <laughs> and tonight we're having, um, Short ribs, beef short ribs um, with mashed potato and broccoli and carrots. Um, we get out the day before your birthday. I love that so much, Jemski. You're okay, Toffee. You never have to apologise. Oh, comes out in March, but not sure if it'll be on Disney Plus straight away. That's fair. Pulled pork's the best. It's so good. Pasta and salad. I love pasta and salad, actually. Right, so three squabbling schemes to get their hands on their grandmother's fortune. Will you cooperate or uh, compete or cooperate to earn grandma's fortune? Bonus is mystery. The outcomes are giving all of the money away, a happy family, make grandma proud or let grandma down. Okay. Looks like Lila has not been getting along with a rascal. Oh, Ava likes idealist sims. Grandma likes uh, dislikes argumentative sims. <laughs> all right, now that that's so settled and sorted, let's uh, give them all CC makeovers. Shan! Wait, what? When, Shan? Oh my goodness, congratulations. Sorry, that took like five seconds to sink in. How did it all go? Oh my goodness, my love. Can we please get some hype and congrats in chat for Shan? How did it all go? That is absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Um, Yeah, please send all of the love for Shan. Thank you for the 35 months of subscribing. 10 in a row, 35 months in total. Um, Thank you so much, my love. Firstly, for resubbing for your 35th month. Um, thank you for being a part of the community for a huge amount of time as well. And um, yeah, thank you for choosing to support with your sub and a huge congratulations as well. Um, that is so, so exciting. How did it all go? Does that mean uh, you might get a little dog next as well? Because um, I remember you saying about that. But yeah, thank you so much, my love. Huge congrats. All of the love in chat, you lot for Shan. Big love, big congrats. <gasps> no, Daisy, go and get the chicken out of the freezer. <laughs> Smiley faces, literally munchkin. We were going to have chips with it, but we were in Tesco the other weekend and they literally had no chips basically in the freezer section. I saw the smiley faces and I was like, you know what? I have not had smiley faces since I was a child. Let's do it. And we, we had it. What are you going to do for lunch, Toffee? 
You've got yourself a cuppa and some galaxy creamy truffle mini eggs. Oh, they sound good, Nat's our mum. And a cup of tea as well, or a coffee. Oh, I hope she's okay, Rebecca. I hope that she's okay. Down for a CC makeover. Yep, we're going to do that now. Definitely. Two weekends ago, it went amazing. Oh, we had a snowstorm happen that weekend. So it was very memorable. Jonathan always asks if I'm watching your stream. He's like, how's Taz? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Shan. I'd love to, if you, if you ever feel comfy sharing pictures or anything, I'd always love to see that. But um, I'm glad you had an amazing, memorable time. And give my love as well to Jonathan too. Oh no, you, yeah. <laughs> instantly being tested with the sickness and health with the covid i hope that he feels a lot better soon too um at least you know the silver lining is he's got it now and not two weekends ago when it was your wedding right dog coming in march that's something to be excited for i'm so so happy for you that's brilliant news and thank you for sharing it with us as well um ex strange about welcome in by the way i don't think i've welcomed you in yet um chicken is out and hopefully it defrosts in time what are you having the chicken what are you what what are you making for dinner tonight um daisy i want to hear tell me everything hazelnuts i love hazelnuts um, yes please do shan i would love to see we are currently about to start a sim scenario so we need to learn to get along with our family we have to throw a dinner party have siblings befriend each other get through a dinner party without fighting have siblings apologize to grandmother have siblings fight and donate 10 grand of simoleons of inheritance to charity. So we've come in and, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Grandmother is uh, angry. She's got a reproachful rage from being disappointed one too many times by too many grandchildren. Disappointment sometimes bubble, bubbles us as anger, but she's feeling great. Okay, you're, you have no emotion and nobody else really does. So let's nip into Cass. There's a lot of anger here. Everybody's got negative emotions. Everyone's feeling hurt by everybody else. But you're all looking ugly. You need a CC makeover. I am just kidding. But we need CC makeover him. Um, good Mess morning, up, boss lady. Up. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Um, I keep seeing ghost lines where I feel like I... Yeah, where you think that it's there. Hopefully, if the chicken defrosts, uh, creamy chicken spaghetti, chicken bacon and spaghetti in a sauce that we make with creme fresh mushrooms and onions. Oh, that sounds banging. That'd be really good. If the chicken defrosts, I suppose. <laughs> Silly cat, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right. Let's start with Lila. Lila Landry. She wants to be a musical genius, but she is hot headed. She's a music lover and she is non committal. Okay. Let's um, whack a little bit of CC on her. What's everybody having for dinner, actually? I want to hear. You're having shrimp scampi for dinner. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Um, I feel like she suits like greeny sort of eyes like this. Putting the chicken in some cold. Um, wait, where did that? Did I miss that? Cold water can help it to defrost later. Oh, there you go. Hoping he doesn't notice I got it out late. Hot water, it should defrost faster. Good morning, boy, mama. We are randomly doing a scenario today, which um, I haven't done like a sim scenario for a long time, but I just had the sudden urge to do something different on the stream today. So I thought, why not a sim scenario? So now here we are <laughs> doing a sims scenario. Uh, let's do that. Whatever your husband makes fair. Um, McDonald's, uh, burrito bowl that I made. Oh, burrito bowl sounds good. I love burritos. And I see people... Oh, lovely. That's cool. Um, I see people on TikTok and stuff doing burrito bowls. Let's do that. You found it difficult. Okay, I'm probably going to find it difficult then as well, to be fair. But we'll give it a good go. We'll give it our best shot. And it's all about the fun. It's about taking part. <laughs> not sure what we're gonna have tonight but last night we had ooh honey and mustard chicken with rice and sausages nice munchkin you're having burrito bowls as well from one of your favorite takeout spots nice few burrito bowls then 
uh, having takeaway to celebrate my hobby, getting a new job. Oh, congrats to him, Gem. He'll be going from working nights to days again. Brilliant. That's going to be so good for both of your schedules as well. Um, so you're not kind of alternating. That's awesome, Gem. I'm so happy for you. Gotta go grocery shopping. Always stresses me out. So I always push it off to the point where I have to go. Literally tempe. I hate grocery shopping. I used to do it on my own, but now we just save it to the weekends um, so that Alex can come with me because I get nervous. <laughs> I'm just a girl. Um, okay. Not decided, but I'll have to join Daisy for that. Yeah, everyone go around to Daisy's house. That's a good idea. Um, okay. This is a cute sim. You might try and do a scenario later. Having some leftover salmon and chicken for dinner, but uh, not sure yet what to have with it. I've done, I've saved a, um, a Tuscan salmon recipe on TikTok that looks really banging. I need to make that at some point. It looks really, really good. And, and you've kind of reminded me. Ooh, let me go and have a quick look, Shan. Let me go have a look. Um, oh, wow. Pictures from my wedding, the chicken and dinosaur, my cousin-in-law. Uh, as part of an orthodox Jewish wedding tradition called a shtick, where the wedding party does comedy court kind of thing to make the bride and groom laugh. Oh, look at you. Your dress is beautiful. Oh, you look gorgeous together. I love that last picture, the kiss as well. Your dress is absolutely stunning, Chan. Wow. It looks like it was made for you as well. Oh, thank you so much for feeling comfy enough to share those pictures with us. Absolutely gorgeous. So both of you make such a great couple. Really, really beautiful. Aww. Um, you're having something with Chicken Boy Mama. Nicola, happy Friday. Welcome in. Um, I go on Sunday nights. It's so empty. I love it. Very relaxing. Yeah. Yeah, I hate, like, when I've been in, like, um, weekdays as well, sometimes it gets quite, like, busy and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Lila was your favourite sim in this scenario, was she? Okay. Shouldn't have got the chicken out and got a McDonald's. I missed the trick. No, it'll be really tasty. I'm sure it'll be really, really yummy. And you'll be happy that you got it out. Yeah, it looks really good, Kira. I have it, like, um, bookmarked on TikTok. Um, I've had it actually bookmarked for ages, but just not made it. It's one of those things where if I don't encourage us to eat salmon, we probably wouldn't, because Alex, like, isn't a major fan. He likes the ones that I've done. So I've done, like, a... Um, what have I done? Teriyaki salmon, where you coat it in teriyaki sauce um whack the salmon in the air fryer and that turns out really nice but he wouldn't encourage it like it, i have to be the one that says right we're gonna have salmon this week <laughs> so if i don't get it then we won't have it maybe i'll, I'll look up the recipe again and i'll have to have that oh she's cute i want to do the kind of gingery hair though felt like the birth uh the barbie birthday cake of my dreams that's lovely why can I paint a ceiling but not the bottom of a roof? I know, Jin. There, yeah, that that sucks. <laughs> well, because when you look from an angle, the bottom of the roof's just white, isn't it? Hmm. Um, God, I don't know what hair to give you. I kind of want to give you one that can be different colours. Um, oh, I hope you feel better soon, Emmy. I hope that you feel better soon. And Ellen, happy Friday. We are currently doing a sims scenario and it's basically like trying to get the inheritance from uh your grandma which is very catastrophic <laughs> i realize how awful this scenario is but we love the drama so yeah god i don't know what hair to give her i only eat smoked salmon i didn't like it cooked when i was younger haven't tried it since as I worry that I still won't like it. Alex was kind of like that, although he didn't eat salmon at all. But then when I started doing this kind of... Oh, that's cute. When I started doing um, the teriyaki one, he quite liked that. <gasps> marry me chicken. I love marry me chicken, boy, my mum. Oh, I hope he's okay, Toffee. 
uh, never imagined weddings as a kid. So I went into our wedding with a blank slate and I think if I'd made a dream board, it would have been exactly like the wedding we had. There were slip ups and lots of laughter and it was so perfect. That's amazing, Shan. The thing is as well, is like, all weddings um, are gonna, there's always gonna be something that, you know, is probably gonna go wrong. But at the end of the day, like, the main thing is you're celebrating you two. Oh, what did I just remove? Oh, there we go. Aww. Yeah, you're celebrating you two and everybody's there to celebrate you as well, you know? So, yeah, that's fantastic. I'm glad you had a, an amazing time. I've tried salmon so many times and I still can't get myself to like it. Really, Nims. Yeah, Alex isn't, isn't a big fan, but he gets forced to eat it by myself. It's because it's good for you. It's, it's healthy, you know? Right, I'm not going to change the outfits. I'm just going to um, keep them as is. So that is Lila. I've just obviously given her an updated face. Um, so that's fine. Then let's do her brother, Eddie. Eddie Landry. He is, he wants to be a computer whiz. He's lazy, a geek and a goofball. All right, um, let's have a look at you. Ooh, Pad Thai Becca. Oh, that's good. So I'm making your own as well. That's pretty neat. Wait, I need to get to eyes. How can I not click on eyes without... Oh, there we go. I didn't want to have to remove the glasses. Green eyes. Um... We, uh, I think salmon's much better with uh, what toppings are on top. Oh, like what you serve it with kind of thing. Oh, bless him, Toffee. Can't believe it's nearly our one year wedding anniversary already. Three months away and been together 10 years now. Time flies. Time heckin' flies. Honey maple glazed. Yeah, I've done honey and garlic before. That tends to be quite good. Didn't mean to pin that. Oh, what did you... Oh, <laughs> Uh, daughter's name is Lila and she is red hair. Nice, Zena. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. No, definitely, Nims. Definitely. Making you want Chinese. We had Chinese. When do we have Chinese? Last weekend or the weekend before? No, the weekend before we had it. Uh... Right, let's, um... Sort out these brows. Um... See, I'm not a mustard girly, to be honest. We do sometimes do mustard with our like honey glazed ham because you can't, kind of can't taste it. But I feel like in that case with the salmon, you would be able to taste it. But I have got PTSD <laughs> from um, mustard as a child. So I'm not a, not a major mustard fan, to be honest with you. Oh, that's so exciting, Marissa. That's lovely. Lemon juice. Lemon juice is good as well, actually. Some cold lemon sauce with it, yeah. Really, boy mama? The salmon or the mushrooms. It could be worth getting a like an allergy test to see which one you were allergic to there. Made salmon and Brussels sprouts for my friend who usually loves salmon, but not Brussels sprouts. She left love in my Brussels sprouts, but not my salmon. I mean, at least she enjoyed one of the things, you know? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's put you... Let's do that, and then we'll add bits to... Oh. I want to lighten those lashes, and... Your dad loves spicy things, and the only thing my mum can handle is spicy mustard, so we had to compromise. See, I'm quite lucky in the sense that me and Alex have very similar likes and dislikes when it comes to food. Like, neither of us like anything spicy. Um, I can't think of, like, anything that one of us likes and the other doesn't, to be honest. We're very, like, very similar in that sense. Um...
You love both. Uh, so good. I'm going to be sad if I'm allergic. Yeah, it would be worth... Or maybe putting a little bit of... if you Well, if it's safe to do so, put, try in a small amount of one of the things. Like if somebody else is eating it, just to sort of see if you have a reaction, which is probably quite dangerous, actually. Maybe it's just worth getting the test. All right, let's do this ham. Oh, really simulated, yeah. That's good. All right, let's give you a bid. Hello, Kristen. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Welcome on in. How have you been? All right, let's do something like that. And then outfits, I'm just going to leave them to it. I just obviously wanted to give them a small bit of custom content for their face. Thank you, Leah, for reminding me to drink water as well. Need to remove everything on here so their lashes aren't all funny. All right, so that's Eddie with CC. Now we'll do Ava, the other sister. She wants to be fabulously wealthy. She is mean and ambitious and a perfectionist. Okay. My husband doesn't have a sense of smell. Neither does his mum. It's genetic. So he loves spicy foods because he can taste the kick. I'm a baby and uh, he always has to apologise because when he cooks, I end up crying while eating the food because I'm a weenie and can't tolerate super spice. But want to support him because he cooked. Oh, bless you, Shan. That's wild that he can't, like, he doesn't have a taste. I actually went to uni with um, someone like that as well. But yeah, no, <laughs> that's um, that's a big old difference, I suppose. Not not liking the spicy food. Um, hello, Leah. Happy Friday. How are you, my love? How has your week been? What have you been up to? How has work been? Atlantis. Oh, I've never seen Atlantis. Thank you for the luck, simulated. Of course I remember you, Kristen. You had a baby in April. Oh my God. She is nine months now. Evelyn, uh, Ingrid, aka uh, Evie, not Evie. Been following along deep in the background. That's, wow. Oh my gosh. So Evie, right? Little baby Evie. That is so, so exciting. That's mega as well. Can we please wish a big, big congratulations in chat, you lot, for Kristen? Congratulations on baby Evie. And she's nine months as well. Time flies. I hope the pregnancy all went well and everything, you know, for the first nine months has all gone well as well for you. Um, wow. That's, that's so amazing. I'm so happy for you. A beautiful name as well. I actually have an aunt called Evelyn too. Uh, a great aunt actually called Evelyn. Um, and yeah, that's that's fantastic. I hope you've been okay as well. And that baby Evelyn's been okay for the first nine months. Uh, Mama Bear, good time zone. Welcome in. A gorgeous little nickname. Yeah, so cute. Thank you everyone for congratulating Kristen, you lot. Oh, of course. Oh, that's so exciting. How has it been? Like, obviously a huge life adjustment as well for, for you and your family. So how, how has it all been? I hope it's all it's all been uh, been going well for you and everything. We are we've just been I'm trying to think what was in the last sort of nine months. We uh, last year was a tough one for me, but this year has started off with a bang. Um, like very excited for the next sort of year. Um, we've got a puppy on the way. Um, yeah, very, just, yeah, good, all good here. I'm gonna give her the same CC, I think, as her sister. Uh, welcome to the parenting journey. Doing well, I started back to work this month and she started daycare. So the past weeks, uh, past five weeks have just been one virus after another. No. It's been rough, but otherwise really can't complain. And she's such a good, happy baby. Oh, bless her. Yeah, it always happens, isn't it, when they go to nursery. It's like um, Claire and Ali with Theo. Um, once he was in nursery, it's like he brings something home. He brings a bug home every other, like, couple of weeks. We even ended up getting the bug that he had because <laughs> he passed it on to Claire and Ali and then passed it on to us as well. Um 
it's just one of those things, isn't it? But that's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad all is good, and, and she's good as well. Ah, oh, that's that's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. Oh, it's exciting. Um. Okay. Oh, I think I'll try and get her something with a fringe. Right. So this is Ava. We need a CC hair that has got a fringe and a ponytail. So she can keep up this look. Fringe and ponytail. I want... Mm. None of them have a long ponytail. Yeah, she's she's doing great, Sam. We don't see them all that much, to be fair. We talk to them a fair bit, um, message them, but we don't see them like every week or anything. Um, but no, they're, they're good. Actually, we saw them last weekend. But not not all the time. But as far as we know, they're they're doing great. Theo's doing good as well, growing quickly. Bless him. Um, I need a fringe. I don't have a lot of fringy hair. Maybe I do, but I just don't use it. That's obviously a fringe. But I want like a ponytail. Um. Oh, are you not? Oh, Emmy, I hope you feel better as well. Started crocheting. Oh, fair play to you. I've made six things so far. That was my stress relief from wedding planning. That's awesome. I've heard of a fair few people getting into crocheting recently. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that could work. This could definitely work. This reminds me of like a hairstyle out of Hunger Games. But honestly, I'm kind of digging it. Oh. Crochet's so fun. Oh, thank you, Fleur. Welcome in, my love. In the office, so can't hear um, and data low. But happy Friday, Taz, and everyone else too. Never forget how amazing you are and enjoy every moment of the weekend. Thank you, Fleur. I know you can't hear me, but thank you, my love. Happy Friday to you as well. Um, I'm glad you like her. I quite like this random hair that I've put on her. So she can keep it. Um, oh, or not. <laughs> Just switch it up. Uh, we're going to scroll down and put this back on her like, this is a hairstyle that i never use on my sims which is why i'm kind of like loving how it looks on her to be honest hi maria happy friday to you as well my love how are you how has your week been welcome in we're currently doing a sim scenario which um i haven't done for a while it's been a long time actually since i've done a sim scenario but welcome in how are you doing it does, I feel, doesn't it, Kira? It definitely suits her. Oh, okay, back to popping it on. Okay. Right, so that is Ava. Ava, Eddie, and then we've also got Lila. Oh. All right, so those are the three siblings that do not get on with each other. And then this is their grandmother who wants to have a successful lineage. She's family oriented, an art lover and a snob. Okay. Long week at work. Welcome in Marie. Looking forward to lurking while I work. Thank you for lurking. I hope that after a long week at work, you've got something nice planned for the weekend to sort of chill and relax maybe. Diamond painting. Nice. I've heard of that too as well, to be fair. You can do coasters and have done a tablecloth for a table. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Oh. Pop. Pop that on, yeah? Okay. Um, I want to kind of do aging marks if we can. Is that in... I know some came with growing together, didn't it? Oh, that's birthmarks. Um, okay, let me quickly give her some green eyes. Like that green. Um, okay. Put these eyebrows out as well. The hair fits her overall vibe. Thank you again, Kira. Um, and simulated welcome back there as well 
sort these brows, that's fine. And then for her hair, we need a CC hair that could be like a, a grandmother's hair. So I'm basically like what she has now, but CC. Just tough. Into colouring for stress relief lately. Already bought um, two other colouring books, even though I haven't finished the first one. That's really nice, Kira. Colouring is meant to be like really good as well for sort of mental health, isn't it? That's awesome. It's finding something that works for you as well, really. I'm good, Angelique. How are you? Speaking of diamond paintings, I've finally finished the 60 by 60 one. Once I was done with it, I took it off the desk immediately. I was so done seeing it. Well done on finishing it though, Nims. Well done, you. Ah, oh, that's lovely Chimbits. A crochet bunny. For your best friend's baby shower. Working on hair and today's national big wig t today. Oh, fair enough. I mean, yeah, we're, we're just adding CC to um, all of these sims for the little f scenario that we're doing. Um, but yeah, funny coincidence. You love colouring books. Some knitting and sims. Hair's been turning brown as I get older, but my eyebrows are still blonde. Uh, that it looks like I don't have any, so I have to draw them on every time I leave my house. That's fair, Sam. My eyebrows um, on this particular eye have always, like this side of it, um, they're there, but they've always been a little bit lighter than like this part of that eyebrow for some reason. So I always fill my eyebrows in. All right, none of them are going to be older lady sort of hair. Um, oh, I don't know about this one. Mm. Took you almost two years. My gran got me knitting, but my mum was more into crocheting when I was much younger. Bring it into my place of work for the elderly. That's so nice, that summer. That's lovely. Hope Sims add crocheting in as they did with knitting. Puppy keeps you busy and up a lot. Is this what I have to look forward to? <laughs> Chaos. We'll be sitting here chatting and then have to get up you're not gonna have to um yeah well we're all gonna have to get used to that i suppose not being able to sit still for a few hours but it's fine no baby girl good morning maz how are you today thank you for reminding me to drink water there angelique As I get older, I tend to focus less and less on makeup and um, more and more on skincare. That's fair, uh, Kristen. Um, and Victoria, good morning as well. How are you? This could work. I barely ever use any of these hairstyles. Let's do this one. Let's do that one because I don't know what else to do. And Hi. someone else has a fringe, so. Sib. Abenor. Uh, okay, let me just sort this out. Good dodge. Hmm. Uh, okay. Right, let's tr sort out your hair. Um, my whispers and DMs are off, Shan, but um, you can pop it on the Discord for everyone to see. Um, and I can pop and can show it in the in the chat. But I don't have DMs on. Um, I'm afraid. But I'd love to see it on the Discord, though. Where did I just find that hair? Was it around here? Lost it now. I want to say it was... No, maybe it was further up. Thank you for the lurk, Mad. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you were talking to Shimbits. Oh, I want to see as well. I'd love to see. Okay. Right, that's the one. Oh my god, why is it changing? Oh, so annoying! Okay, yeah, that's fair enough, Sean. Yeah, I'd love to see as well if that's okay. Once it's, well, yeah, once once it's done. Uh, oh. Okay. 
let's just change this hair. This is really annoying. Slight headache. Oh, mad. That's the worst. I hope the little morning walk helps with the headache. I struggled with that yesterday, actually. Yesterday, I was going to record a lot more videos than what I did end up doing. But I had the worst headache, which I didn't take anything for. And it turned into a migraine. Luckily, I'm okay today. But that was not good. Not good at all. Uh, where is one for this? Sweet, but up a lot to play. I thought she, since she's a puppy, she'd be sleeping a lot, but not this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do say though, don't they? That puppies need like, what is it? Like 15 hours of sleep. So we're obviously going to be tra tra crate training our little girl. Um, so we'll get her into a routine of like sleeping in the crate and then coming out for playtime and then sleeping in the crate. Okay, so this is Nissa. She is the grandma. Let's jump in and um, yeah, I think I'll take a quick break, make a cup of tea and then we will get cracking with this scenario. It's been a while since I've done a scenario, so I don't know how this is going to go. Let me just double check. Um, uh, okay, so we're going to need to get an extension here or something because right now the house is not appropriate for the amount of people that we're going to have in it. Um, yes, I will save. Thank you. Yeah, especially after the blooming crashing that was happening the other day. Oh, amazing. That's great, um, Toffee. That's good. Okay, let's do... This. The girls can share a room. That's fine. Let's do here. Okay, move that over. Okay. Girls can share room and then the boy can have his own room. Hello, Notka. Welcome in. We are going to be um, doing a scenario today. A sim scenario because I just fancied it. Um, so that is the plan. That is the plan. Uh, let's do that. I'm just changing this house quick quickly. Uh, pop that there. Right. Okay. Perfect. Uh, the dogs can help clean up the plain pasta. Hello, M. Welcome in as well today. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. So, um, for anyone just coming in, we're doing the family fortune scenario where basically three squabbling siblings scheme to get their hands on their grandmother's fortune. However, the family matriarch only plans to award her inheritance to those that prove themselves worthy. So all the siblings are not getting on. No one's getting on with their grandma. And uh, yeah. I don't really... I, I haven't done a scenario for ages, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. But um, I am going to take a break and then we will jump into the gameplay. Minus 14, my walk to classes is going to be nice. Yeah, it should be, um, it should just be called Art Sham. If you've seen, um, if you've ticked all the rules and accepted the rules, um, down near the bottom, the art section should just come up. Um, okay, you lot, I'm going to go for a quick break. Let me get words on stream um, set up for you lot. And then, yeah, we can jump into some gameplay with this little family when we come back. Um, do take a break if you need to yourselves. Um, get a snack, get a drink, go to the toilet if you need. Um, I'm gonna get a cuppa. And um, yeah, I'll be back with you lot soon. Try not to cause uh, any chaos and be good.
Ooh, I made it just in time. I am back. Oh, top three. We've got Nicola, Rainbow and Trebekah in the number three and Laura just missing out in number four. That was good timing. I made my cuppa and the minute I got back and sat down, um, it went on thing. Um, Kaz, of course you're the one that causes chaos while I'm gone. Thank you for the 100 bits, my love. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I have literally just come up the stairs quite quickly um thank you for welcoming me back munchkin and daisy and kaz thank you for the 100 bits while i was gone so that i think i wouldn't see but i see everything what did i type wrong um i can't see on my end to be honest it might have been like an auto mod thing i don't know to be honest rainbow sneaking back in no i didn't sneak in <laughs> I didn't sneak in. Welcome back, Raven, as well. I did. I um, I got a cup um, and um, yeah, I didn't do much else, to be fair. <laughs> Literally got a cup, I checked social media and then came back upstairs. Oh, I did look at the little puppy bones that arrived um, when I was like started first started stream and they look really cute. Maria, thank you for that luck as well. Um, did anybody get anything while I was on break? You're sneaking back in. What have you done, Natsama? What have you done? Have you done something? What have you done? Has Natsama done something? What have you done? Um, what have you done? Natsama! You're so cheeky! See, they don't come up in my activity feed. I have to actually check my emails for thrown gifts. Unless if I don't see it in chat, then I have to check my emails. Natsama, buying poo bags off the throne wish list. <laughs> Can we get some hype in chat for Natsama? Nurse, Nurse Sama sending this just in case for poopy. <laughs> poopy princess messes. Are yours? <laughs> You're so funny, but it's so cheeky. I, if you hadn't have said anything, I probably wouldn't have noticed that until after stream because it doesn't come up in, like it only comes up in the chat as a notification. It doesn't come up in my activity feed, like bits and subs and stuff does. So I wouldn't have noticed that. <laughs> Thank you for getting little poopy princess poo bags off of the throne wish list, Natsama. Can we get some hype? Thank you for, um, for, for that. You're so cheeky. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> oh, don't go anyone in this short walk. It doesn't like getting his paws wet and it's been raining the past few days. Oh, little precious baby. 
Um, let me have a look, Natasama. Um, not Natasama, Rainbow. Um, so I think the reason that that word got auto modded is I've just Googled. So it's a word that can be used in a derogatory way about women. So that's why it got um it got auto modded um because yeah it can be used in a in a not nice way about women. Hello Mia, welcome in. Happy Friday. Uh, just had my first trimester scan yesterday, which showed that baby is well and thriving. Two hands, two feet, perfect little brain. Everything looked and sounded well and good. And I'm just so happy that everything's all right with baby. Oh, that's amazing news, Mia. I'm so glad. Oh, that is so exciting. Do you have a little like scan picture? Obviously don't share it because it has personal details, but do you have like your first little scan picture in it? everything as well congratulations i bet you're over the moon made a banana and blueberry smoothie uh you didn't have lunch today oh i hope that smoothie fills you up a little bit as well thank you for liking laura um sent my diamond paint painting collection in the art chat let me have a quick look while we're here um oh wow oh look all them that's impressive that's so cool. I couldn't resist, so it doesn't show up. Yeah, so because it's not connected directly to Twitch in the same way that like bits and subs are, if that makes sense, the way it's done through Twitch, it doesn't show up like in my activity feed. So the only way that I know when someone has sent a gift through Throne is if I'm live streaming and I see it in, in chat or whenever I check my emails afterwards, so the reason that I, the only reason I knew that you'd done it the other day at like one in the morning was because I woke up the next morning and checked my emails and saw Nat Sama has bought these gifts. <laughs> so that's the only way I know. So I nearly didn't catch it there when I went for the break because it doesn't show up and, I, and the chat had already got rid of it as well. So I wouldn't have seen that. Yeah, no, you're all good, Rainbow. Yeah, no. Some sometimes the uh, Autobot, um, like the mod, catches things, um, and then we don't know these words. But then I suppose what we can do is, yeah, look them up and find out why. I, I believe that you you didn't know what it was because I didn't know what it was either. This is true, Toffee. Never enough poo bags. So, yeah, thank you, Natsama. Oh, thank you everybody for congratulating me as well. Over the moon. Oh, bless you. That's so so exciting. Aww. it's wild i feel like time's gonna fly so quickly it's very hard i think to like because i've always sort of been in the way in like of the mindset of like i don't want to wish away my days like i want to enjoy every day um and try not to wish away days but right now I'm of the mindset of like, oh my God, I can't wait until like a month away, you know? Or for example, I can't wait until next week because next Saturday we get to go and see, um, very hard not to say, do you know what is really hard actually? Because me and Alex, when we talk about our dog, our new puppy, when we talk about her in general conversation, no worries, Nat Summer, thank you for the luck. In general conversation, we say her name all the time. So her name is being thrown around all the time like in general so then when i come on stream i have to try and like one minute i need to sneeze oh it's gone you know that tickle when you oh you know that tickle you get in your nose before you sneeze it's there um yeah no when i come on stream i have to try and like stifle and hold back on saying her name i'm surprised honestly that i haven't slipped up yet but we'll see. <laughs> There's still time. But um, yeah, no, I am trying not to wish, my, wish away my days. But then I'm also just, yeah, excited. Oh, that's lovely, Sam. That's really nice. And then you'll, you'll be able to wear your family members um, around your neck. That sounds really... <laughs> If anyone wasn't listening to like about the locket part and I've just replied, yeah, you can wear your family members around your neck. They, that could like go to really morbid thoughts. But no, it is a locket. It's a locket with pictures. Uh, just to clarify. Um, hard not to slip up. It really is. 
To be fair, yeah, we've been calling her Poopy Princess. Um, Poppy Princess, Poopy Princess. Her name isn't Poppy. Her name doesn't begin with a P either. But yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a tricky one. That's the way it is during pregnancy. You want baby here and it seems like forever, but uh, honestly it flies by, yeah. I was not reading chat. <laughs> I just, I only thought that after I said it. For anyone that is like lurking and just listening to me talk and respond to people and not reading the chat, I've just said to someone, yeah, and you can wear your family members around your neck. Like, <laughs> what are they going to think? It was only after I said it though <laughs> that I thought of it. So if you are listening, the person said a locket around their neck, not not family members. And yeah, sorry, everyone. It's creepy. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so jealous. I, I wish I could get a puppy golden retriever. You can live vicariously through me, Kikio. Um, when anyone tells me they need to sneeze or make that face before one, I tell them, bless you, and it goes away. No, Raven. You've got to let them sneeze, because how good does it feel after you sneeze? And it's like, that feeling's gone. Not creepy at all. <laughs> so she's called Oppie. Yeah, Oppie Princess. That's her name, Oppie. That is her name. Last couple of weeks of pregnancy does go by so slow, does it? Uh, hello, bud. Welcome in. We have had chaos. We have had um, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> gifting subs, giving bits, buying throne gifts as well. Your sneezes give you headaches. Oh, my God, Sam. What, the actual, like, feeling of the sneeze or the sneeze in itself? That's wild. Is it August that she's due? Aww. It, what's wild there though is Mia that she could either be the youngest, well, actually in England. Oh my God. Uh, Bod, what are you doing? <laughs> Comes in, says hello. And then instantly gifts Boss Lady a sub. Thank you, Bod, for gifting Boss Lady a sub. Thank you for 330 gift subs in total in the channel as well. And Boss Lady, enjoy having a sub from Bod there. Enjoy the emotes, the ad-free viewing, all courtesy of, um, of Bod. Thank you, Bod. You're way too kind. Way, way, way too kind. Force of the sneeze, yeah. Due August 3rd. So what I was going to say is in England, um, if you were born in September, you are like the oldest in the year. Um, but if you're born in August, you're technically the youngest in the year. Um, so if she, yeah, if she's due in August, then in England, she would be one of the young ones in the year. But it's, does that like change depending on country? Kira, yeah. gifting a sub as well. Thank you so, so much for gifting M Brownie a sub. And for 15 in the channel as well in total. Um, can we hype up the chat for both Kira and Bod? And if you got one of those gift subs, please do say thank you. Um, and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. In school, I knew a girl who sneezed 13 to 20 times in a row. Oh my god, and that was every time she sneezed. Did she like have asthma or anything like that? Because I knew someone that had asthma and would have like sneezes that would be a lot more than like one or two. Um, her name, well, we can say it does. <laughs> her name doesn't start with a P, but we can say it does. We can call her Poppy. Poppy the puppy for now, I guess. Oh, so how schools in the USA work. Um, can't remember if she had anything that could lead to that. It wasn't someone I was close with. Yeah. Here in my state, it's July and August instead of August and September. If your birthday is July to December, you'd start school at three instead of four. Really? Here in Canada, you're the youngest um, if born in December. Oh, okay. That's wild. It's wild, actually, how it works, depending on, like the country as well because yeah in the uk um if you're born in september you're the oldest in the year and if you're born in august you're the youngest yeah that's how it works that's so wild um, really really wild um, lots of things are like that though aren't they where it's different 
depending on where you are and, and things like that, especially when it comes to school. Why has she got a camera? That's an interesting one. Do any of them have jobs? If she doesn't have a job, none of them have jobs. The aim here is to not work at all, but try and get our grandma's money. Um, okay, I mean, let's get a crack in, I suppose. Let's assign beds. So this is grandma's bed. The age split for school age is wild. My niece is only two and a half months older than my oldest kiddo and they're in different years at school. Oh, geez. Her birthday's end of July. He's beginning of September. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine, Angelique. I haven't actually... Oh, my God, she's going to have her period. Okay. Um, I haven't actually like, given really any clues. Um, or have I? No, I don't think I've given any clues as to what baby's name's going to be. Actually, I have. I've given one clue. Uh, assign bed to you and assign bed to you. Um, just Lee, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. September to December. My cousin and I are born in the same year, but I was born in January and she was born in December. So I was already four starting school while my cousin was three. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. That, yeah, see, if that was in the UK, you would be a year above her. So you would be in... Uh, the year up from her if if uh, that was in the UK so you're born in um, January in the same year um, say for example you've got like in, in England it goes reception year one year two year three year four year five year six all the way up to year 11 um, and potentially more but um, you'd be in like year one and she'd be in reception and then you'd be in year two she'd be in year one um, and that would be how it would work in the UK. Depends where your birthday is. Normally you start school around the age of six in mid-August, but some kids start when they're five, again, depending on when their birthday falls. So baby might very well end up being among the youngest. Yeah. Here you have to be four before August to start school. If not, you have to go the next year. Yeah. In Korea, you're a year older than you are in the other countries. So say if you're 30, you're 31 in Korea. Really, Angelique? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've just... <laughs> so I actually have, like, periods and stuff disabled in a lot of my gameplay. But because we're in a new save here, periods through wonderful whims are back. And my girl's dripping blood. But at least she's got a light blood flow. Uh, She should apply a tampon. No more mood swings. Her mood swings have been magically suppressed. Right, well, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, whack a tampon in. Oh, you don't have any. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're getting off to a great start. <laughs> go to the store. I'm deeply disappointed. Wait, what? I'm deeply disappointed with the way things have gone for all of you. We have a proud family legacy to uphold and it's clear that you've let it slip through your fingers. You've squandered your opportunities and shown little regard for the values that have made us who we are. If you want to have any hope of inheriting a share of my fortune, you'll need to demonstrate that you're willing to work hard and make something of yourselves. Prove to me you've turned over a new leaf and the inheritance could be yours. <gasps> Sorry, Grandma, please don't be rash. We can change. How dare you? We deserve that money. Okay, you need to be on good terms. So, sorry, Grandma, we can change. So, we now need to improve Grandmother's mood. Buy tampons. <laughs> Throw a dinner party. Heal negative sentiments. Have siblings befriend each other and all the other ones. Oh, my God. I've never seen that. Granny is savage. Korean age system's no longer. A law passed in December. Oh, so they scrapped it. Oh. Grandma's blackmailing them. They all don't get on with grandma, basically. And we essentially need to prove that bond. Okay, why don't we start off? Where has she gone? Oh, Lila's gone to get tampons. Oh my god, Grandma and Eddie already have a difficult family dynamic and she's laughing at it. Okay, why don't we get Ava to suck up to Grandma 
and let's cook together with grandma on our own and we're gonna make one thing what is halo halo oh that came with one of the new packs i think i don't know why Kikio, what are you doing buying the little dogs oh that's gonna be so handy on dog walks and stuff to keep like the poo bags in the treats for training and things like that Kikio, thank you so much for getting the little walk do walk walking <laughs> dog walking bag off of the wish list that is so heckin generous of you can we please get some hypes in chat you lot thank you kikio that is going to be so so helpful honestly when it comes to like dog walks and training her to like come back for treats and things like that um thank you for that my love i really really appreciate it um we never ever have to be doing that or getting anything from the wish list. You know that. But um, thank you so much, cute head. Big hypes in chat, you lot, for Kikio. Um, thank you for getting um, getting that for us. Some big old hypes, you lot. Um, in the womb, you're alive, so it's confusing to me to come out age zero. <laughs> Makes me cringe. I never normally have the period system enabled, but we'll have it for this for this one, for this scenario. Oh, Madge, yeah, go and eat something and take something if you need to, and I hope the headache improves. Um, they did have it, so when you were born, you were a year old, and then when December passed, you were already two. Oh, it is confusing, actually, isn't it? Miss Sunshine, welcome in. How are you? Thank you, everybody, for hyping. And thank you, Kikio, for getting the little pouch um, treat bag off of the wish list as well. And welcome back, Natsama. Welcome on back. Right, is this lot on... Um, it, can she just not make anything because she's only, like, not good cooking? Or do we have a lot type? Okay, I want to get rid of simple living because that's tough. So we are taking her home officially the 25th of February. So if you do exclamation point countdown in the chat, that will give you the exact countdown. Wait, improve grandmother's mood. Did we actually improve? Oh, she's angry. How are we even family? <gasps> you three can hardly sit in a room together without squabbling like school kids. Siblings should stand together and work as a team, not bicker. This petty infighting stops now. If you can't put aside grudges and act like a family for at least one family dinner, so help me, I will donate every last cent of my fortune to more deserving families. Oh, she's, she's, uh, doing my head in, actually. <laughs> um yeah less than a month no she'll be eight weeks so she'll be eight weeks old and then um we will get her vaccinations and then around this sort of 10 11 week old mark is when we'll be able to take her for her first walk once she's had her vaccines there we go yeah there's the countdown granny is not playing okay let's suck up to granny's backside we're trying granny look at her angry face Amazon gifties arrived, so got my new phone cover. Oh, wonderful. Treating myself, Taz. So still getting gifties with self-care. No, it is not that summer, but I am glad to hear that you're getting um, getting things for yourself as well. You don't need to be getting me anything, but I'm glad you're spoiling yourself. Granny's wild. She's fuming. Come on, Granny. We're meant to be making so Halo out, together. Bima, <gasps> Seneca Belinda Grinia. Okay, we need to throw a dinner party. Grandma's kind of getting on my on my nerves a little bit, to be quite honest. Right, she's going to go and wait there for Granny to come and cook with her. Granny's iconic. She passed on some stronger genetics. She did, to be fair. Are you coming, babes, or are you just back cracking? Man, Nick. Ma no, we're not singing uh, that. <laughs> not singing that song uh, about Granny. Christ. Is she actually going to come? Get a move on, Granny. She's complaining of missing pants. <laughs> Granny's had a facelift. Okay, she's coming. And yeah, do it. Do it, Becca. Granny is chaos. How is this even going to go? How long do we have to complete this? You've already got two dogs and a cat. What breed are your dogs, Kikio? Wait, will she actually die, Mama Bear? Okay, we're cooking now. 
We're doing uh, good things with Granny. Shia. Sucking up to her so she gives us all the money. Oh my god! What are you doing, Lila? Get a grip, babes. Come on, you're an adult. Why are you doing that? Go and pick it up and stop being a little brat. We're in here being good with Granny. Helping to cook. Sticking our nose up her backside. <laughs> Miss Sunshine, thank you for lurking and thank you for, for popping in. Okay, we just did a good thing with Granny. Granny's a snob though, so she doesn't like it. This guy's just gaming the whole time. All right, Granny, call everyone to a meal. Lila, the easiest sibling? Okay, we can try. Right, my tea is finished now. So pure focus on getting all of Granny's money. Why are you mad? Unresolved conflict. Lingering ill will after a fight just doesn't evaporate. And we've got bitterness and we're still furious. Okay, go and talk to Granny. Can we apologize? We're sorry, Granny. We're trying our best. Why so special? What's so special about dumb babies anyway? Oh my God. <laughs> They're all so angry. Look at the negative emotions here. Cavalier King Charles, 11. And then Cavalier Pug Poodle Mix, three. Very cute breeds. Have siblings apologize to grandmother, okay? Get through a dinner party without fighting. Okay, we can do this. Let's... <clears throat> oh, Lila and Nissa now have a difficult dynamic. Right, okay. Let's add a dinner party. Dinner party event. The hosts are going to be Granny. And the guests are going to be the siblings. And we're going to have it here at the house at uh, 2 p.m. today. Okay. Now, all the siblings are going to go ahead and cook together <clears throat> with Ava and Eddie. And we're going to make a nice meal for Granny and hopefully shove it up her backside and get her to give us her inheritance. <laughs> Let's make a turkey dinner. I'm sure she'll love a roast. A classic roast. Um, so, yeah. Throw it in her face. Okay, come on. We're all making dinner together. Granny looks so mad. Babes, you've got, like, too much madness in, in your heart. You need to let us go. Like, genuinely let this go. Otherwise, you're going to die a sour old lady. I'm not being funny. Right, would you ever come over? We're trying to cook dinner together. Oh, let me go and have a quick look. Okay, I'm glad you blacked out the personal info. Let me have a little look. Oh, the hand in front of the face, like baby sucking on thumb. Oh, bless. Oh, that's wonderful, Mia. That's absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's so special. Oh, do they not have space? What if we move that? Will they have space then? Oh. Will that be better? Hi, Brownie. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> are you coming? <clears throat> what are we doing, babes? Okay, I think we're starting. If this doesn't improve grandmother's mood, I don't know what will, to be honest with you. Have siblings befriend each other. Okay, we're cooking together. So if that's not befriending, I don't know what is. You're doing great good. Lilac, thank you for the drink water a while ago. I've just seen that, actually. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. We're doing a... Um, scenario which i have not done in a while i don't know how this one is gonna go though to be honest oh my god why is she doing that oh wait we had positives everyone's getting along now this is good we're all gonna get grandma's money thank you my love this is good we're feeling positive she's just got a new sentiment with eddie from cooking together Fantastic. Grandma's loving this. Grandma, why are you doing this to Lila? We're trying to get on here. And you're the one that's causing, in, like, sadness. It does look promising, but I don't know. 
Could we just lock grandma out and leave her outside to die? Maybe she's not written the will yet. Sorry, I've realized that's really, <laughs> that's really morbid. It, this is Sims, by the way, just saying. These aren't my same thoughts, IRL. <laughs> it is Sims. Okay, the dinner party's starting soon. Hi, Tally, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Oh God, we're all feeling sad and wounded and feeling hurt. Crybaby sibling. Lila's Smurfs. reveling in the sweet Jewel cries of Quink. her sibling, but jealousy <sighs> burns hot. Oh my God. Oh, be nice to your siblings. Just be nice. Oh. Interests. Discuss so your interests. Tad, Morbid, never. You're doing great. Oh my God, she's screaming and shouting again. Granny. You're actually so annoying. I actually think Granny could be the problem here, you lot. I genuinely think that Granny might be the reason that all the siblings aren't, aren't like, happy. Yeah, I'm really good as well, thank you. I'm really, really good. God, this turkey's been cooking for ages. Ashley, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. These two have literally given up. The turkey's gonna burn. Oh, it's out. Okay, can you two try and like soften things here? Discuss logic puzzles. Talk about happy things. If we can get through the dinner party without fighting, that would be amazing. Gossip about Granny while she's in the toilet. Good now that it's Friday. It is Friday. Okay. Dinner party's starting soon, and then we can go and help ourselves to the dinner. Let's start. All right. Let's go and call to Grand Mill. Right, Granny does. She's got a negative feeling with everybody. Call to Mill. Why is Granny making something? Serve a pot of gumbo. Granny doesn't want the roast chicken. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to make my own meal. Uh, okay. Wait, what was the picture thing, Marissa? Oh, taking pictures to get their friendships up. Yeah, that would have come in real handy. All right, let's try and like chat to Eddie. Discuss interests. Okay, nobody's allowed to argue. You can't have an argument, you lot. We need to get through this meal without arguments. Apologize to each other. Maybe I should put them all in different rooms. Enjoy company. Nobody argue if we can just get through this without... Oh, they argued. They had a negative sentiment. Does that mean we haven't done it? Oh, my God. Why are we all so difficult? Uh, Add them on social bunny. Uh, oh, that's uh, true. Uh, oh, this is so Plus difficult. Get to know. I'm really Darcy trying. I am box. really trying. But they're causing arguments and stuff. They're all having negatives. Find the common ground. I'm trying. Try to chat. Granny, you're not doing much to help. Why are you glad? She's happy to see people suffering. Oh my God, you're that type of person. Mm. It can be gratifying to see someone Darcy. suffering. From She's place. loving yes. the Dive fact they're not getting trip. on. Huh? Oh my God, I actually woman. think that Granny's the uh, like be with an itch in all of this and she's caused all of this. I'm not gonna lie. Taking them as a group to Solani for a swim. We can do that. Once the dinner party's over. Uh, yeah, I've put pictures online. <laughs> So there are pictures of the pup on Instagram, um, but we're actually going to see her in a week as well. Okay. This is wild. Yeah, she really is. Okay. To be fair, their relationship's getting a bit better. Granny's isn't, but theirs is. Uh, so if you do exclamation point countdown tally, there you go, Maura's done it. That is the exact, um, exactly when we bring puppy home. Not long, asshole. 
Okay, <laughs> let's. Nabsa. Uh, Haniosa. This is so difficult, actually. Oh. Oh my god, Granny's yawning. Granny, can I give you a gift of um tampons? Even though is that bad? <laughs> Granny's like stopped her period twenty years ago, and Lila's gonna give her a box of tampons. Here you go. Enjoy the tampons, Granny. Wow. Oh, she loves it. Absolutely loves her gift. Perfect. Oh Granny God. is obsessed with her tampons. Oh. Right, I'm just going to take the tampons and put them back into our inventory, but thanks. Well, that's good. Oh. That went well. Granny liked her tampons. Okay, our relationship with um, our brothers get in there. Hi, Bunny. How are you? I think we have had arguments, unfortunately, like during this meal. So I don't think if uh, this is going to go through as a success. Poopy princess. She is. She really is going to have everything in place. You lot have spoiled our little poopy princess. I can't wait to be able to like have her on stream and stuff as well. You're good. Lurking. So excited for you and your puppy. Thank you, Bunny. And thank you for lurking as well. I... Uh, Oh, I'm very excited. Please. Oh god, are we arguing? Oh god. Uh, <sighs> this is not going well. Oh no. She'll be downstairs. She, we're crate training her, so she'll sleep in her crate. Oh my god, this is the most stressful thing ever. What are you doing now? She's making salad. Oh, okay, uh, I don't think this went well. I'm ending it. Dinner party complete. Oh, wait, we actually ticked that off. Oh, my God. Now they've got a difficult dynamic. Uh, have siblings befriend each other? I am trying to be friendly, but it's just not working. I'm so trying. But they're all horrible. Do you know what? Actually, forget the girl. Because I feel like she's going to have a much better chance at creating a friendship with Eddie. Forget about... Um, what's her name? Ava. Let's try with Lila and Eddie. Because Ava's just a difficult one. She really is. I feel like Eddie's our only hope here. To have, sibling, have the two of them befriend each other. See, look, they're hugging! These two are fine. Right, let's talk about pronouns. And then let's talk... Let's... Hug lovingly. Drive safe, Sam. I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely weekend. And um, drive safe. Let's cloud gaze with Eddie. Okay. So, how do we then finish it? How do we know when we're done? Because, like, this is going well. We don't have a great relationship with Granny. But we do have a great... Well, what could be a great relationship with Eddie. We're now cloud gazing. And I'm hoping the relationship goes up. Eddie's, yeah, he's having a fun time in the rubbish. <laughs> okay, so they're going to cloud gaze now. Already their relationship is getting better by the looks of it. Do they have a difficult dynamic, her and Eddie? Bad compatibility. Deeply wounded. Okay. Hopefully we can change that. What is Granny doing? Granny's sleeping. I feel like Ava's the hardest one to get along with here. So if we can get Lila and Eddie in a, in a good way, then that's going to be the best way to do this, I reckon. Okay, you just keep doing that. And then... Small talk. We can share photos. Discuss our interests. Okay. Okay. We can do this. I have hope, actually. All right. We're done with that now. We no longer have a red negative bar here. Things are good between these two. Thank you, Nat Summer, for a demon drink water. I have hope. Effioba Dorishi? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's yawning. Oh. oh, 
Here's the quiz. Okay. Cirque. Oh. That wasn't good, but hopefully we can improve. Oh, yes. oh, why are they all so annoying? I'm done with Ava now, I feel. I feel like you need to be doing the good things here now. Describe new idea. Goof around. You can apologize to Lila. Chab. Bonita. Interest. Yeah. Discuss games. Um, wait, let's do help fix bad relationship with Nissa. See how that goes. Oh, I thought it'd be good doing it the other way around, but it's not. Okay. He's going to try and fix the bad relationship with Granny. That didn't go well. Apologize and then go to the toilet. Is he apologizing? Yeah, okay, the apology went well. You now need a wee. There's only one toilet here. Is there an outside one? No. Uh, no, there's not. Okay, you can go for a wee after. And then the two of you can stargaze. They don't have any jobs, any of them. They're just waiting for Granny to die, basically, so they can take her money. Go use the toilet and then go and stargaze. How do we stargaze? Uh, that's Emma. God. Thank you for gifting Similotti a sub. Can we get some hype in chat for Natsama there, who has given 331 in total in the channel. And Similotti, enjoy your emotes, enjoy your ad-free viewing. Um, enjoy having a sub for a whole month because Natsama has very kindly gifted you on there. Thank you, Natsama. And thank you for adding to today's daily sub goal as well. Um, thank you for saying thanks as well, Lottie. And thank you everybody that's hyping there too. Um, you know you don't have to be doing that, Natsama, given everything else that you have very kindly done today. Um, but thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Right, I'm just going to cheat your bladder up. Right, go and stargaze, the two of you. Granny, where are you off to? You want to throw the rubbish away? Okay, well, pick this up and then throw it away. And then go to bed. When does this end? Does it literally end when we just end it? Cause like I just don't see. I don't know. Donate ten thousand simoleons to charity. The one thing that we do have to do though is heal negative sentiments. So if I can do it with him, then that's going to be the best thing. Break Taz first fix says no. We don't need to break Taz. We definitely don't need to do that. And break Taz and then fix her. Okay, look, their, rela their relationship's going up a lot, you lot. So if we can do this and fix the negative sentiments between them, that would be amazing. Okay, and then head to bed. Head to bed, we'll, we'll do some more cloud gazing in the morning. How else do you fix the negative sentiments? Apologising and being friendly, okay. Oh, someone's pregnant. Well done. Congrats. Okay, I think we can do this. If we can at least do it between those two. Does it have to be all of them? Hopefully not. They'll be fixed in no time. Do you reckon, Kira? I'm hoping we can just do it between those two because I feel like that girl's harder to please. Kaz, we don't need to break Taz. I don't need to be broken. Thank you for the 100 bits. But I definitely don't need to be broken. I, I just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for those bits, little chaos monster. All right, these two are up. That's fine. Uh, you can get up, use the toilet, um, go get a snack. 
This is a kitchen sink. This is a bathroom sink, so I'm just going to set them. Cooley, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How are you? Granny, stop hogging the toilet. Get your backside off of it. Okay, you need a wee. Go use the toilet. <laughs> That's how I'm trolling. Okay. You need a shower. This is very hard. Only having a bath and only having one bathroom as well. Oh my god, she's gonna walk in on him. No, 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 don't! <sighs> Get out. Imagine walking in and your brother having a blooming bath. Just when I was trying to fix their, like, sentiments. Okay, he's taking stupidly long in the bath. Get out, you're hogging all the hot water. Right, use the toilet and then we'll start working on these two. Right. Let's hug. Do we have, like, an apologise option or no? Uh, small talk. No, I think we did all the apologies. Did he do apologies to her or no? Let's see. Uh, interest. Small talk. He doesn't have an apology option. So let's just keep being friendly. Oh, he does. Apologise to her. Are you actually having a giggle? Kira! No, definitely not Flingy Bits Friday. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, though, my love. No, you don't have to fling, fling bits anywhere, but thank you for those bits as well. Oh, deep conversation. Oops. Okay, he's apologising. I think she accepted it. Why are they talking about Wabarani, you too, me. Are they getting on better now? I don't know if they are. Go and cloud gaze. Just go and do something. <laughs> oh, you too. Just get on. This is well hard. I mean, we're not healing any sentiments with Granny. But surely if she sees how well these two are getting along, then maybe she, like, will appreciate that, you know? Deep thoughts, cloud gaze. Okay, get that friendship up. Ooh! New friend. Okay, so they're friends now. They are friends now. Him and Lila. And the sentiment's gone. Wait, they don't have any sentiments, you lot. Does it have to be all negative sentiments? Oh, I think it has to be all negative sentiments with everybody. Oh, okay. Let's all travel and let's go to Solani. We're now going to go and swim in Solani and hope that helps. Oh, sure. Looks like no one can make it. Are you having a laugh? Why can no one make it? Because they hate your guts. She's just going on her own. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Nobody likes you. Oh, okay. Let's, um... Apologise to Nin Nissa. Apologise. This is well hard, you know? At least we've done one. Deep thoughts. Let's cloud gaze. Okay, the apology went well. Still feeling hurt. Oh, this is tough. Okay, while you lot are working on that... You two can go and apologise as well. Uh, deep thoughts, apologise, and then cloud gaze. Just everyone apologise and cloud and stargaze, and that's how we're going to do this. Okay, how is that going? That's going really well. Friendship's getting better. You're getting a new mouse and keyboard that has typewriter buttons. Oh, nice. Okay, this is well. Still bad sentiments, but it's fine. They're getting better. 
These two are cloud gazing, getting better there. Success. Okay. Are we still feeling negative though? Can she apologize to her or is it just the other way around? Friendly, deep thoughts. She can apologize too. And vice versa with these two. So apologize. Did he do it too? Okay. All right, now the girls have to... How are we feeling? Just be friendly. Talk about cooking. Do a bit more cloud gazing. Apologize for the 500th time. Uh, and then... Cloud gaze again. Don't say his far. Okay, you two go cloud gaze as well. I think cloud gazing is going to be the only way that we can do this. Okay. All right, Sarah's calling. Uh, no, you can't come and crash with us. We already have a difficult relationship with. Uh, a whole family, let alone you joining the clan as well. Good morning, TM. How are you? How is your Friday going? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, are things good with Granny now? No, those sentiments are still there. Angel with the two gifted subs. Thank you so, so much for gifting Countess Hannah and Lordalyn a sub as well. Can we get some big, big hypes in chat for Angel there? Thank you so much, my love. Um, and if the two of you are here, then please do say a big thank you to Angel Fire um, and enjoy being a sub for a whole month, thanks to them. Thank you for that, that's super duper kind. Thank you for adding to today's daily sub goal. We are halfway through on the daily sub goal today. So thank you, my love. Oh, that's cool though, Angelique. Typewriter kind of styles are really cool. That's awesome. Enjoy. <gasps> Lila just became good friends with Nissa. Okay. But the sentiments are still there. How long until the sentiments go? Right, that's good. So she just needs to improve her relationship with Ava as well. And then these two still have bad sentiments and he needs a wee. Right, why don't we sort out Lila and Ava then? So you can... Not summer, no. You don't need to be checking bits. Thank you for the 100 bits, but you don't need to be doing that at all. Thank you for that, though. Very, very kind. Little chaos monster. Uh, okay, and then cloud gaze. We're getting there, you lot. We're definitely getting there with this. Better than I thought it would be. Uh, he can go and um, chat with Granny while this is going on. And then you can go and cloud gaze as well. Oh, surprise, surprise. Lots of cloud gazing going on. Oh. <laughs> These two are just not getting along. Did she apologize? <laughs> Lila's hot headed. Both of you be nice. <sighs> Ask to cloud gaze. Oh. <laughs> She doesn't want a cloud gaze? No, don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. Oh my god. Why are you nasty? No. She's trying to be nice. No, Kaz. Thank you for the 100 pizza bits, my love. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm the jail monster. The jail monster? Oh my god, Chaos Armor. Chaos Armor is your new nickname. Thank you, Nats Armor and Kaz, for the 100 bits. Chaos Armor definitely sounds right, to be fair. Hannah, thank you for saying thank you to Angel as well for those bits, my love. Thank you. This is such a struggle. Ava's not nice. Oh my god, just fight you two. Get it out of your systems. Am I making this harder? Oh no. Oh, 
Griba, huh? Larkin moves. Oops, um, I think I made it a little bit worse. Yebu Panka. At what point does it end then? Oh. How does it end? Let's donate money to charity. Grandma would love that. How do we donate to charity? Anything to please grandma. Funiata, John Joe Zanessa, Bahira. Monaga Kwanka, Skuma, Fubane. Oh. How would you donate to charity? We're doing the family fortune one where basically grandma's a pain in the backside. Um, household? How do I donate to charity? Oh, you do it from grandma? From the computer? Household. Where does she do it? Do I have to click on grandma? Uh, oh, donate inheritance money. Do it. Do it, grandma. They're all being a pain. Uh, hello, Miss Chocolate. So the reason that they hate each other... Um, no. <laughs> You're chaotic. Thank you for the 100 bits, little chaos monster. Um, no finger slips allowed here, though. Um, and Miss Chocolate. So the scenario starts off with them all hating each other, basically. And you need to try and work on their relationships or kind of give up, I guess. And we are giving up. I don't understand why it's until each sibling is at least friends. So all the siblings have to be friends. Did she actually just donate the money? Was that it? She donated it. I'll be able to rest more easily after I'm gone, knowing this money is in more deserving hands. Perhaps this will provide a little motivation to get your act together. It's your money, donate away. Hey, you can't do that. We won't stand for this. Show grandma that we don't care. If she wants to do that, she can do that. Okay. Grandma's a, just not nice, is she? Okay, these two... Oh, this is so stressful! Okay. So, okay. Giving it all away. <laughs> How do we let Grandma down? I don't understand. What is the bonus? <laughs> I'm stressed. You too, little chaos gremlins. Thank you. Thank you for the bit. But no, we are not having secret little chaotic meetings. Right, I've actually decided there's Ava that is the issue here. I've actually made this so much harder. <laughs> this is so stressful. Can we just tell grandma where to stick it now? Right, Ava's not going to improve, so I think we should just have her fight with everyone. Can we kill grandma? What happens then? What actually happens if grandma dies? How long does grandma have left? I'm actually tempted to plan a murder now. I think let's plan a murder. How do we kill grandma? I'm sick of her. Hi, Cleo. Welcome back. How are you? Um, I want to plan a plot to kill Grandma. Grandma's dying. I'm sick of her. She's doing my head in. So I think death is the only option here. What would happen then? Would we still get the inheritance? Just a quick question. Right. Go on, Grandma. Have a nice dip in the pool. A trip to the spa. 
and there's days in my shoes. Donuts and drinks to the naughty pizza party. Thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> You're wild. Thank you for those bits. Okay. Grandma, Grandma's just having a little dip in the pool. The whole world according to Moa. <laughs> okay. There we go. Sick of Grandma and uh, her nonsense now. So um, there we go. Goodbye, Grandma. Bye now. Hey, Lila, we'd have you join the Good Timers. Yeah, we're offering Grandma and seeing what happens. I just don't think that they're going to improve their relationships. So death is the only way to find out what happens to the inheritance, I suppose. Oh, don't let this affect your sad mood, Claire. Hopefully things get better. But don't let my chaotic game change that. I'm just sick of Grandma now, so she's got to go. Um, Erin, thank you for that luck as well. I don't think you can do that in Sims, Lotte. I don't think you can do that. I think you can only get like food, well, poisoning and die from it if it's puffer fish, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, because it might be different. Amber, hello. Welcome on in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm doing well. Rip, Granny. We spent a lot of time doing our CC makeover, and now she's going. F in chat. Anyone else wanting to join? Welcome Thank you for the bits, Natsama and Kaz. Little partners in crime over there. Oh my god, she's feeling happy because she beat someone up. Literally, there is no way this relationship is going to improve. Look at her. Amber, thank you for that follow as well. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. All right, leave Granny to her own accord there. She'll be fine. Is there, Hannah? Oh, that's the first that I've heard about it. Poison alcoholic beverage. Do you have to be a certain amount of skill in the, um, what do you call it? The, what is it? Um, drink making. Do you have to be a certain skill in, in that before you can make that? I didn't know about that. That's pretty cool. Level 10 bartender. Ah, you learn a new thing every day. That's cool. Well, we definitely won't be able to do that. So I think death by eight. Um, swimming pool is the only way to go. Do you remember the days where you could put your sims in a swimming pool, remove the ladder, and uh, that would work? Whereas now, because sims can get out of a swimming pool, regardless of the ladder, now you, you have to do a fence or um, a wall around it. This reminds me of um, my, my second 100 baby challenge where we were trying to find new ways to kill everyone. They're too smart now. They really are. <laughs> a little known about death. The death by beetle juice is triggered by the beetle juice drink. Oh, okay. So came with eco lifestyle and you have to get level 10 mixology. Okay. Interesting. That's an interesting one to um, think about. I'm just going to have a quick look. Does my Sims in Bloom challenge have anyone that has to level up mixology? Because I wonder if they could turn evil. It's fun adding evil sims into the game. You've got to have chaos. It can't just be happy all the time. Uh, Cross-stitching nectar making. Handiness. No. Logic gourmet cooking herbalism. Comedy guitar mischief. Painting research and debate and writing. Mixology! Oh, Gen 11. The death flower one. Oh my god. This is perfect. They're a vampire, they're evil, art lover, and kleptomaniac. You were born with no morals, and they have to get the skill mixology. So maybe they can kill someone with that. <gasps> that's amazing! That's a gen 11 of Sims and Bloom, so that's going to be quite a chaotic one. Gotta spice it up. Death by piranhas, yeah. <laughs> I very rarely kill Sims, so I always find it it's quite exhilarating spicing up the game, isn't it? If fun's just sleeping blissfully. Oh my god, not Vlad coming into the mix. Not Vlad. I mean, Vlad, you could have killed her, but we'll, we'll go with the pool for now. She's such a beautiful sim. Little Lila. It's a shame. I I'm actually, to be honest, I'm more intrigued to see what happens if she dies. 
Like, does the scenario end? Do we get the fortune? So we're doing it for science as well. Enjoy Evil Sims. Gem 40 was just born. Uh, I've had quite a few Evil Sims. I don't think I've ever had someone that I would say is exceptionally evil. Like, really bad. Like, I know Tristan in my Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Did he have the evil trait? I don't think he did. He was a criminal. But, like, I wouldn't say that deep down in his heart he was, you know, wholly evil. Like, completely evil. Because there was, you know... I need to play Nightmare Legacy soon, actually. But there, there's a part of him that there is love there, you know? So I wouldn't say I've had someone that is, like, completely... And exclusively evil. I, I I can't think of anyone. No worries, Natasama. Thank you for everything today. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend as well. Um, and look after yourself. Are they, Rebecca? Evil and gloomy. Was um was gloomy one of Indy's traits? Did he have gloomy? What's up with you? Ovulation. Oh, lovely. Okay. Alright, looks like we are gonna have an evil sim in Sims and Bloom, so that'll that'll be an interesting turn. Alright, her energy is getting Oh she's drowning! She's drowning! Okay, this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. No one's holding their breath here. Um What happens now? She's starfishing in the pool. What happens now? Is this the end? Family Fortune has come to an end. Did anyone ever watch Family Fortunes? I don't... Was it just a UK thing? It was a show that had... Oh, what was his name? What was the host? And each family had to, like, um, answer questions and get them right. I can't remember what... Um, who the host was, was of that... Family fortunes, that was good. Thank you for helping with the evil sims. Okay, she do be dead. Is that the end of it now? Wait, why is it not the end of it? She's died. Is it not finished? Have I not just, have I killed her for no reason? I mean, they still technically get the inheritance, do they not? Okay, but what if... What happens if I, like, get rid of these? I'm intrigued now. I don't get it. No, it wasn't Gino. I can't remember who the host was. He had, like, a northern sort of accent. Furious. Sibling jealousy. <gasps> oh... That's a pretty cool sentiment. Right, I just want to do this just to see what happens. Nobody's got any... Oh. Wait, there's more to it! Heal grandmother's negative. Oh my god, there's no way. This is well hard. Get a job for all siblings. Earn 10,000 smoleons. Are you joking? Are you absolutely joking? There's so much more to it than I thought. There's no way we're healing grandmother's sentiments because grandma's six foot down in the ground. Oh, hey, grandma. Um, okay. I mean, we can get a job. I just don't think we're all going to get on board. Right, you can be a detective. You can be a doctor. And you can be a scientist. I mean, we've got 10,000 smoleons like here, don't we? Find an honest or dishonest way and to earn that money and prove to grandma that you're capable of contributing to the household. Can I not, like, sell that parts of the house? 
Let me just try something here. If I sell this, does that earn the money? If we sell everything? Yes. Okay, let's sell the entire house and make 10 grand. Okay, so I need to sell to make, like, to have 68 grand in the house. Right. Let's sell everything. <laughs> I feel like all of my uh, gameplays end up with me selling everything to make money. Sell these. Sell. 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 Anything in here? Sell. Sell. Okay, sell. Sell. Um, okay, sell the PC. In this economy, we do have to do this. We don't need grandma's bed. Sell that. How much have I made? Not the hell, but... Oh, we did it! The end of the family. Bring the grandma home. Oh my god, it says make sure grandma and all the siblings are home. Read inheritance letter. Oh my god. I'm so confused. Grandma's not home. Wait, can we br bring forth grandma? Bring forth grandma, she needs to be home. Oh no. Strengthen her connection. Okay, she's here. Grandma is here. What if we just yoink her into the family? Lambs? Bring the family home. Grandma is home. Grandma's home, right? Help! Read inheritance letter. Okay, wait. What if we go here? Wait, go here and then send her home. And then go home. Is she home now? Go home. Oh Christ, do we have to bring grandmother back to life? Yeah, I tried that. Down here and then click in the little house. Go home. Unless it's not her. Okay, wait. Bring grandma back to life. Crikey. Okay. Cheat sim info. Add trait. Alive. How do I... Send the whole family away and back home? Okay. Go here. Go here. Go here. Okay, now everybody go back home. I think it might be a death. Okay, wait, let's revive grandma quickly. MC cheats. Keep some info. Huh? How do I alive her? God, she's still mad, isn't she? Maintain Sim. Revive. Yeah, Grandma does have a fear of drowning. Okay, send home. Oh my god, it's still not working. Can we go somewhere off the lot? And then home? <laughs> the scenario has, has... I don't know what happened, actually. Right. I think I did break the scenario. <laughs> oh no! I was just done with grandma, to be honest. I'm done with all of them, in fact. Okay. So now, if we go ahead and bring the family home? Question mark? Run, grandma! Grandma's home. I want to see what the inheritance letter says. Is it going to work now?
Okay, I don't think it worked. <laughs> Wait, why does she just have a random voodoo doll? Bind to grandma. What does that even mean? The voodoo doll has been bound to grandma. Do voodoo. What does that mean? Nabatani. I'm uh, confused. Uh, <laughs> Holy night. Um, so I think we, uh... <laughs> I think I ruined it. What? We're all home. I reckon if grandma didn't die, then it would be fine. She has to die again. <laughs> Find another way to kill her. Um, what if we reset her? No. Reset. They are all there and they have been there. Wait a day and go back out. Oh, I deleted grandma's bed. <laughs> Trying to raise money. <laughs> Engrave her urn. Okay, what if we engrave it? Because that's technically her urn. Rest in pieces. Okay. She dislikes malicious interactions. Okay. Nobody got an inheritance letter. Yeah, so I think that, that was the end of it. Can we, like... Is there a way to, like, cheat one in? Or is it something that just comes with this scenario? I don't... Uh... It's not working. Surely you would read the inheritance letter though once she dies. That's what I don't understand. I think because grandma died before, it's not working. Okay, wait, let's go to manage worlds and then go back in. If not, then we'll probably just have to finish it. Countdown 29 days. Oh, really, Lana? You need to wait about a day after Granny died to get the letter, but you did it way back. We can give it a go. Thank you for letting us know that. Okay. Okay. she have just died though like because she still had six days so like would we've had to wait the six days for her to die i'm confused <laughs> okay everyone go to sleep Oh, she just died of old age. That's all right, boy, mama. Um, okay. I'll give it until the next day and see if anyone's got a random letter. But like all the family are home. That's the one thing that's glitching out here. If I could just mark that as, yeah. I think we killed Granny too soon. But to be honest, she was kind of doing my head in a little bit. Vlad, what is your obsession? She had a breakthrough, well done. Okay, maybe we should have um, <laughs> got Granny her bed back. I am trying to cheat it with the UI mod, but it's not actually 
working. Like, I can't right click on it. No. Yeah. Click, click, click. <laughs> and this is why I don't do scenarios. Because I get too bored and too frustrated when it doesn't work that I cheat it. Ava's having an early midlife crisis. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was how the scenario <laughs> went. I'll fast forward. Keep it fast forward just to see if there is an inheritance left up. But should she be killed off again? Oh, God. Okay, reset. Maybe I should kill her again. Honestly, I have no idea at this point. Granny, would you ever just... Okay, hold on. Should she be dead again? Who knows at this point? Um, Sim commands. Kill by death by anger. Okay, she's dying from a cardiac explosion. Oh my lord. Okay. Bye, Granny! Inheritance letter? Question mark? Why was there such a like triumphant sound after she died? I mean, technically all the family are at home. I don't get it. Oh, they don't need a job anymore, do they? Uh, because I just didn't fancy doing a random scenario today. Uh, okay. Um. I was going to do building, but I was like, no, I haven't done a scenario for a while. So fancy doing a scenario. And now I can see why I never do them. <laughs> um, okay. I don't see anyone with an inheritance letter. So let's call it quits. <laughs> that was good. Let's pretend we never did it and end 